In this tutorial, we'll cover how to install the plugin bot server. First off, why would you want to install the server? Well, let's say you're not comfortable using our public website or your private company and you want to keep your information separate from the public information. You would download and install the server in your own infrastructure. Don't worry, it's very painless. The first thing you'll need is what's called a LAMP server. L-A-M-P, LAMP. Stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Don't worry, no programming experience is required to do this. However, you may need to use a little bit of the command line. The first thing you'll need to do is actually install LAMP. We won't cover that in this tutorial. Please refer to your operating systems documentation. A quick way to do it on Debian and specifically Ubuntu platforms is type sudo task cell, and it will give you a nice wizard which you can follow. Just select LAMP server and then go to OK and follow the prompts on the screen. At some point, you will be asked to enter a password for your MySQL database. Please remember that password as you'll need it later. Once LAMP is installed, you can download the PluginBot server zip file and extract it to your web root. In this case, we're in var www.html. You see we have two folders, PluginBot serve and ye root. PluginBot.net is built on the ye framework. It's a framework specifically for PHP. Per the documentation, do not place the E framework as a subfolder of the website as it's a security vulnerability. Hence, we have the two folders separate. In this case, you would make this the root. Inside, you will see some files. We'll get to those in a minute. If you attempt to run the site immediately, you will get a CDB exemption or a flat out access denied. The reason for that is we haven't actually set up the website yet. We've merely copied the files. To fix that, we'll need to go to a setup file, which is provided, setup.sh. If you're not on a Linux platform, this file will be worthless to you and you'll need to perform all the tasks in the file manually. Simply run the file. It needs to be run as root. If you're not root, it will prompt you for the password. It will set the owner permissions and then attempt to import the MySQL database. This is where you need the password that you set up during TASL for MySQL. Give it the password. And it says, remember to modify the MySQL password in file and it gives you a long path. This is a configuration file for the E framework. We need to modify the line that says password equal password. To do that, Go into HTML, plugin bot serve, protected, config, and modify the main.php file. We're looking for the line that says password equal password. And we're going to change this field to the actual password, the one that you gave MySQL. Once you've done that, Go back to the website and you'll be greeted with the setup wizard. That's all. If you need more information, please contact us at pluginbot.net.